All right, you are welcome again. Let's take a look at this question. Find the differential equation of the family of the curve. Y is equal to A all over X plus B. Where A and B are arbitrary constants. We are asked to form a differential equation corresponding to the function Y is equal to A all over X plus B. Okay, now let's go without wasting our time. We are going to call this y equal to e all over x plus b, equation 1. Let's call this function equation 1. The next thing we are going to do, we differentiate this with respect to x. Okay, let's differentiate this with respect to x. When we do so, we are going to have dy dx is equal to you know, when we differentiate a all over x, it's going to give us minus a all over x squared. Is that true? Yes. All right, so when we differentiate this, we have dy dx is equal to minus a all over x squared. All right, please, I want you to do it by yourself. Now, as we have this now, you know, we have two arbitrary constants and we have to differentiate two times, right? But before we do that, let's make this function to be easy for us if you want to differentiate so how can we do that let's try and make minus a the subject let us make minus a the subject how can we do that we multiply both sides by x squared so that minus a will stand alone so when we multiply both sides we are going to have dy dx times x squared equal to minus e all over x squared times x squared okay so we we'll multiply this you are going to have x squared dy dx that is in our left hand side equal to you know this x squared in the denominator is going to cancel the x squared right so we are going to be left with minus a so after cancellation we have x squared dy dx is equal to minus a is that true Okay, from here, we can go ahead and differentiate for the second time. All right, good. Now, take a look at the left-hand side. We have x squared dy dx. We're going to apply product rule here. So, we're going to differentiate x squared, then multiply by dy dx. Then we say plus, we differentiate dy dx, multiply by x squared. Is that true? Yes, let's do it. When we differentiate x squared, it's going to give us 2x. Then we we'll multiply it by dy dx, okay? Then we we'll say plus. You differentiate dy dx. It's going to give us d squared y all over dx squared. Then multiply by x squared. Equal to, in the right-hand side, when we we'll differentiate minus a, it is a constant. It's going to give us zero, right? Good. Now, let's arrange this very well. We're going to have, here we have 2x times dy dx. It's going to give us 2x dy dx then we have plus in this place we have d squared y all over dx squared times x squared when we multiply this we're going to have x squared d squared y all over dx squared equal to zero okay let's arrange it based on the number of degree and order so when we arrange it we're going to have x squared d squared y all over dx squared plus 2x dy dx equal to zero hello here we have x squared d squared y all over dx squared plus 2x dy dx equal to 0. This is the differential equation that we form as a result of eliminating the constant. Okay, this is the equation, this is the differential equation that is corresponding to the curve. y is equal to a all over x plus b. Alright, yes. Thank you very much for watching. Please, if you are new, subscribe, like, and share our videos. Stay blessed.